What's good YouTube? It's your boy Cam here. Do you notice the fresh haircut? Got a fresh haircut. Yeah. Anyway guys, in this video I wanted to talk about gym shyness. Now, a lot of the time when people first start going to the gym, there's a sphere, you know, and it's, un it's completely understandable. We all have our own insecurities. And, you know, going to the gym is, it's a fear for a lot of people for the first time because you step into the gym, you know, you go in, you, you feel intimidated by these bigger guys or these bigger women who have, you know, big butts, nice, nice waist. So these guys who have really broad shoulders, really big bodies. And you go in and you feel intimidated, but don't be. The thing is, don't be, because the more you put yourself in that state of mind that when you walk into the gym and all you're focusing on is those people in the gym, you're subtracting time away from what you could be executing in the gym. So all the time you spend thinking about, ah, oh, if I get this bench press wrong, or if it doesn't look right, people are gonna look at me. So what if anyone looks at you? So what? We all have to start somewhere. And you know, you can't, you can't, you can't allow yourself to give in to those temptations of looking around at people to see if you're doing the movement when you're doing movements wrong or you know just staring at people because that is super creepy I've had that done to me and don't do that that is super weird but yeah you have to get over gym shyness and there's so many different ways you can get over that fear or insecurity that you have of stepping into the gym and executing your workouts you know, I, me personally, I respect the guy who's seriously overweight, who's in the gym, busting his ass. I respect that more than anyone else. Uh, anyone else I see in the gym. I don't care if I'm standing next to a guy who's fucking 300 pounds of muscle, and then there's the guy next to him who's 300 pounds of fat, but that 300 pounds of fat guy is busting his ass. I respect that way more than someone who has 300 pounds of muscle on their body. The reason why is because they're willing to do the work. They're willing to do the work to make the changes that they need for their body. And that is what is crucial. That right there, that putting in the work and not giving a fuck what anybody thinks about what you're doing in the gym, that is where the results come. And that is where consistency comes in. After you get over that initial fear, after you get over that initial fear or insecurity or, what is, or whatever it is, being in the gym, you'll start to feel more comfortable. You'll get more comfortable with the weights. You'll get more comfortable with... You'll get more comfortable with doing weights. You'll get more comfortable with just being in the gym in general. You know, you won't, you won't feel like... You won't feel like you're intimidated by anyone else. You know, you walk in there, you have a sense of pride about what you're doing. And that's what it comes down to. So when it comes to workouts, don't worry about what anybody thinks because you had to start somewhere. I remember when I was trying to do a bench rep, bro, I couldn't even, guys, I couldn't even lift the bar. I literally could not even lift the bar. The first time I got into the gym, I couldn't even do 10 reps on an Olympic bar. So seriously, all you gotta do is just stick with it. Stick with it and I promise you that over time, you will feel better about yourself walking into the gym. You know, there are so many different ways on how you can combat, um, you know, that fear and that insecurity of, of stepping in the gym and just feeling that you're being watched or feeling like, you know, you're not doing something right. So the first way that you can combat your fears or combat your insecurity about having, um, going to the gym it's like get a gym partner. That's what I did for like the first couple of months. I went to the gym. You know, it makes you feel more comfortable. And you know, if you've got someone there who you know you, and you trust and that you can work out with, you're not gonna care what that 300 pound dude or that woman with the great butt is gonna be doing um, in the gym. You're gonna be focused on you and focused on what you're doing with your friend. And for me, that is one of the biggest, it's the one, and for me, that is one of the biggest ways how you can overcome your fear, is that if you feel comfortable with someone who you can train with, then it's gonna help you stay consistent and get results. The second thing that's great about having a partner is that they also hold you accountable for not being at the gym. It's definitely gonna be harder to sit at home, watch Netflix, while your gym partner or your friend is at the gym busting their ass and they call you up and say, hey, John, where are you? Like, you're definitely gonna feel guilty if you don't go. So. Having a gym partner is great for staying consistent in the gym and you're definitely gonna need one. I, I personally believe you're definitely gonna need one if you're just starting out, just to find your feet in the gym, just to get comfortable and then afterwards 
you can do whatever. Now, I don't have a gym partner now, I go to the gym alone, sad face. But you know, if I didn't have that gym partner then, I probably wouldn't have felt motivated to go. I probably wouldn't have felt motivated and stay consistent to achieve what I want to achieve with my body. You know, having that gym partner there was, it, it was crucial to me, you know, deciding whether I wanted to continue with um, pursuing my goals at the gym or just completely falling off and going back to old habits. And the other thing I'd say is just don't give a fuck. Don't give a fuck. The chances are the reason why you feel insecure is because you feel like you're not doing something right in the gym. And that's cool, man. You've got to start somewhere. You have to start somewhere. Like I said, I couldn't even lift 20 kg. I couldn't even lift the Olympic bar when I was first starting out lifting weights. So imagine what that would look like versus someone like you who's actually, if you're watching this video, then you obviously, are, you're, you're taking in information. You're trying to learn about, you're trying to learn about the gym. You're trying to understand how this whole gym thing works and how to get your body in shape. You know, if you take that against someone like me who had no prior knowledge, Obviously now I have some knowledge about it, but you had no prior knowledge and to you You probably got a better base than I did when I was walking the gym and I couldn't even lift an Olympic bar So yeah guys, you have to have to get over that gym shyness. Just stick with it. Trust me. Just stick with it And after like three four five months of being in the gym <sighs> you, you won't even think about anyone actually people will actually start talking to you the more you bust your ass in the gym I'm not saying that you have to like fully bust your ass every time depending on what training routine you do but the more you actually put into the work the more you stay focused you'll find that actually people start talking to you that's what I found I found like when I'm in the zone and I'm on my own people actually come up and talk to me like hey like what exercise is that or like how many sets do you do of that or whatever and then that builds your confidence because they they confide in you for advice you know I had a PT say that I motivated him that's crazy and that is what's gonna happen to you if you stay focused on you and not what anybody else thinks about what you're doing in the gym trust me you are gonna feel way more confident than you did when you first started out in the gym